This is Think Tech Hawaii. Community matters here. Aloha! Welcome to Talk Story with John Waihe'i. And we have another interesting program for you this afternoon. <laughs> As our special guests, we have Senator oh Brickwood Galateria. He represents the uh, Waikiki, Almoana, and Kaka'ako. Kaka so you, your, your district is in the heart of Honolulu. Yeah, we're about as urban as you're going to be. Oh, the yeah. Metropolis of Hawaii. Right. So, this is, by the way, folks, this is uh, uh, Brickwood. And what, uh, not only is he uh, a well-known state uh, senator, but he is also a musician and yeah. uh, entertainer and all of those uh, other accolades. Well, firstly, thank you for inviting me here today. You're Appreciate welcome. being here with you, Governor. <laughs> and that's an ingenious uh, title to the show, Talk Story. With yeah, just Talk Story. It was just an easy story. one, right? <laughs> but, uh, yeah, you know, when people they who followed my career knew me as a musician and then a radio personality, right? We like right. to say that, and then some television, then eventually into uh, politics. It's so some, some from the frying pan to the fire. Yeah, well, I, I always say just lateral moves. <laughs> <laughs> lateral moves. No, I think, Senator, you've been going up and up and up. But I still like to pick up my guitar, though. Yeah, well, you know, someday you're going to win a Grammy or, or, or for, for being a, a senator or a politician. Not for uh, singing the blues? Uh, no. <laughs> well, no, you're going to work on that. Then. Yeah. But, uh, you know, there's a few hokus in your in your uh, yeah. repertoire. We were, uh, gee, we got male vocalist of the year back in the 80s. And uh, most promising artist, which I guess as a politician, is a good promising idea. Artist. <laughs> that's a good thing that's, to be. That's a good thing to be. And then we've also been able to produce some, some uh, I think, worthy, worthy things. You know, which is what the, this is all going to lead someplace. Believe me, Senator. But I, I, I wanted to introduce that to let everyone know that you were the composer yeah. of a song about uh, when was it? About three years ago. Yeah. Called um, uh, Mohala Ponoe. Yeah, Mohala. Mohala. Mohala Ponoe. Yeah, many people say Malama Pono. Right. Right. Mo Malama, of course, to take care, yeah, in, in a right way, in a righteous way. Right. Mohala means to grow in a righteous way. Mohala, but to blossom. It's such a beautiful title. Yeah. And, yeah. and as a matter of fact, uh, you had uh, Natalie. Yeah. I.E. Natalie, I.E., yeah. Uh, sing it for it. Yeah, it yeah. They played very well. Uh, if, uh, people who listen to Hawaiian music are going to be very familiar with this. Mohalo Pone. Well, it talks about unity being the most precious possession we have right now. It's sticking together. And that speaks to even the politics of the day as, you know, Hawaiians come into the new well, age of Hawaii. it speaks to everything in Absolutely. Hawaii. Absolutely. The growth of uh, one in a, in a righteous, in a, the, the right way to care for each other, that sort of thing. So Mohalo Pono is a... It's a, it's a way of growing righteously, of, of, right. of becoming, yeah. uh, you know, a righteous person. Becoming, it, yeah. And it was a, and, and I know that in the course of doing that, it triggered your interest in, uh, in Queen Liliokalani. Oh, interestingly enough, you know, I'm at the Senate, this will be almost my 10th year. And so, you know, as in anything, you know, sometimes you're on the bus, sometimes you're under the bus, you know, it's just a matter of what, when it is. But during, uh, uh, there was a moment in there, we worked closely with you, with Kana'i Olovalu in the Hawaiian role, and I was the majority leader, and I was at that corner of the state capitol that looked directly to Iolani Palace. Right. So many of the native Hawaiian senators, we all got together in my office, and we crafted legislation to, you know, to create a, a native... Uh, reorganized political entity that the state can negotiate with. But whenever I look at the palace, and that's where the song came to mind about unity, and then we think about Lili Oklani. Right. And what she went through in order to, uh, you know, bring us a hundred years later from her death, which is... You which know, she's still influencing what we do today. I think uh, most, for me, we, we're doing a, this deep dive on Lili because coming up on, on, on November 11th will be the 100th year of her passing. So, uh, but prior to that, which is, you know, I remember sitting in your room. 
Yeah. Uh, 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 imprisoned in, in my room. Imprisoned in your room. <laughs> <laughs> imprisoned, you wish. <laughs> you know, because the reason I've said that, folks, is because he, he, he unfortunately moved to the other side of the. Uh, yeah, yeah, now, now I look at the hill of sacrifice. Yeah, now you're at the hill of sacrifice. <laughs> but in, the, in those days, you were imprisoned in that beautiful office. I, I remember sitting there with Ken Makuakani. Yeah. And uh, uh, and uh, th we were discussing. You remember that? Yeah, Lilio. Yeah. Well, let let you tell the tell the people what what happened. Well, we were uh, you and I had been talking. We we're waiting on Ken because we were developing a songbook right. for this initiative called Kanai Olovalo, the Native Hawaiian Roll. A whole bunch of performers were getting together to provide mele, right, for the unity. And so uh, Kenneth was one of the producers. So he came walking in a little late, as you all know. And <laughs> <laughs> no offense, my no, Kenny, no but offense. you know, with your new position, you know, <laughs> church got to start on time. You know. So the, so uh, he came walking in a little agitated. And I said, "Well, you know what's going on?" And and he he said, "I just came from the statue, Queen statue, and it says Queen of Hawaii from 1891 to 1893." And he said, "I I don't think that's correct. I think she's still our queen." And I think we should change the date if we can, right? And, and then we proceeded. You, as a matter of fact, said if we could do that, I think that'd be a powerful statement. Right. So we proceeded to do our due diligence, and we ended up contacting the sculptor, contacting State Foundation on Culture and the Arts, and we changed it to the, the year of her passing. Right. So right now, it says Queen of Hawaii from 1891 to 1970. So she was the queen at least in the hearts and minds of her people, uh, until she died. Until she died. And that was the, the point of, the, of that change. Yeah. So I know we started with that, you created the song, and you are continuing, as you were alluding to, continuing mm -hmm. to uh, do something about, uh, to recognize uh, the last queen of Hawaii, our queen. Yeah. yeah. Many people don't know her story. I certainly didn't know her. I don't know enough about her story. But just the mere fact that she stood down in, right. you know, right. means that even you and I could be here today to stand up. Right. Because, right. Right. truth be told... Oh, that's a great line, by the way. Yeah, well, thank you. <laughs> truth be told, if, if, if she had actually followed the advice of many of her, her loyalists, we're going to swing until the very end. Right. And I will go and take it all the way. Seriously, we we will probably not be here today to talk. Right, and you know what's interesting is that most people forget that that uh, the, the the overthrow took place at in 1893, and there's a couple of things people don't uh, re or don't know is that actually there was a massacre. Um, at the little big horn, so there's a massacre of well, Native American Native Americans uh, just three years earlier. Yeah, I mean, so the idea of challenging the might of uh, the United States yeah. was is real, as you say. She yeah. yeah, she tried her best, you know, la uh, short of bloodshed to restore her kingdom, and I'm like the last guy who should be talking with any amount of authority towards that. But I think the universal themes of uh, injustice or after the overthrow, justice, reconciliation, forgiveness. All begin with the, our queen. All begin with our queen. I mean, if there's a moral equivalence that Lili'u has, it would be Gandhi. Say Gandhi, right. say uh, Martin Luther King. Right. I mean, we have our own, uh, right. you know. A hero. Hero. Yeah. And so. A heroine, you know. Yes. And so many people don't realize what she did over time uh, after the overthrow. And you take a look at some of those pictures, and she's clearly agitated when she's sitting next to <laughs> Dole and whoever. Right? But she's holding it. Stanford Dole, the, uh, oh, yes. the president of the yes. republic, absolutely, and the first governor of Hawaii. Yeah, right? and I could, you can only imagine what those four days of the overthrow were like, and then the imprisonment to follow. Right. Uh, right. And then the eventual, you know, returning to Washington Place for her final days. But even the, in those years, from the time she was overthrown to the time she passed away, there's some incredible data that suggests uh, the value systems came into play. Right. And she actually, if we took, you know, we're supposed to be talking about this 100 years later. Right. I really feel that. You know? no, well, the, the other thing is that both you and I have grandparents who were around. 
yeah. at the time that that happened. So it's actually not that long ago. Yeah, it's not that long ago. So her influence is felt today in many, many ways. Yeah. Uh, but, you, but you are now um, working on, uh, with a group of people, and, and sponsoring a, an event, a centennial event relating to the uh, yes. Queen. We, we, we've uh, come together, another native senator, yeah, Kai Kahele. Oh, Kai. Young, from, uh, young Hawaiian from Hilo. Hilo. And born and raised in Biloli'i. On the right, he really, he grew up in the old-fashioned uh, way, yeah. in a modern time. In a modern time. So if there's any type of, I think, uh, Renaissance Hawaiian, if you will, 41 years of age, this young man, he's a pilot for Hawaiian Airlines. Right. He's a jet fighter pilot, too. So he is clearly in the, a seamless way going back and, and forth. And he's a great Opello fisherman. There you I go. Know, you want Opello, you, you go and put see that Kai. together. <laughs> and, and how does that, that happen? Right? Yes, if, if, it's, if it's Tuesday, I'm in Beijing. If it's Thursday, I may be in Belgium. You know, he's flying around. Yeah, yeah. And then if it's Saturday, I'm fishing Opello I'm, in yeah. Linoli. So he was on his way back from Tahiti. Oh. Okay, he was flying back from Tahiti. This was about four, four weeks ago. Very recent. Right, and he he called me up, and I was in church, uh, Kwaihao Church. I texted him back, "I'm praying for you. <laughs> I'll call you back later." <laughs> well, we talk later, and he he said, "You know, I'm read. I read this book while I was coming back from Tahiti, and um, I said, well, all you guys do is take off and land, right? So five <laughs> hours in between, you got a lot to do.' So he was particularly interested in the overthrow, and uh, specifically uh, Liliu." Right, and he told me, "Now I know why I'm a senator." I said, right. "Okay, you found your brown." Yeah, okay, yeah. very good. Good. And then he tossed this date out to me. He says, "What does November 11th, 1917, mean to you?" As if you know, yeah, to, yeah. You want to catch his older you. Yeah, his older you. brother. See now, how much, how deep you actually went. I says, "Hey, as a matter of fact, that's when the Queen passed away." He says, "Oh my gosh, where did you get that from?" I said, "Well, you know, I just have it." So why? What, what's the point? He says, do you think perhaps we could raise her name a hundred years later on the date of? I said, Kai, I think that's a good idea. But, you know, we can also produce things in our sleep. Right, you know, yeah. We got that background. So well, that's that background we talked about earlier, you know. Yeah, with the entertainment and, 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 all of and that. such. Yeah. So uh, what we did was uh, I said, let's go check with the trusts. Lily Okalani Trust. See if they're going to do anything. So I called Tommy Kolukuku, he was the chair of the board. Right. He said, we are not going to do anything. She passed away at 8.30 in the morning. And uh, if you folks do something, we want to tag along. But we normally just have a moment of silence. Well, we flipped that. I immediately called uh, Ken Makuokane, of all people, who's <laughs> the Papa Makua of uh, the um, United Church of Christ, which right. means he handles all of the Hawaiian churches in that uh, conference. Which is quite a few. Yeah. yeah, quite a few. Stretched right across the island, yeah, as a matter yeah. of fact. I think they got up to, you know, 40 to 60 or something like that. Well, I tell you what. So you got together with uh, Senator Kaheli yeah. and with Ken Makuakani and, and, uh, yeah. and uh, Tommy. And Kaleo Patterson. And Kaleo Patterson. Yeah. Okay, we are going to take a short break right now. And when we come back, tell us about the program. Okay. I want to know what you guys did, how you put it together, and what can the public expect. Okay, got it. Thank you. This is Think Tech Hawaii, raising public awareness. Living in this crazy world, so caught up in the confusion. Nothing is making sense for me and you. Maybe we can find a way. There's got to be solution. How to make a brighter day. What do we do? We've got to give a little love, have a little hope. Make this world a little better. Take it to the Try a little more, more than ever before. Ted Rawson here, folks, your host on Where the Drone Leads, our weekly show at noon on Thursdays here on Think Tech, where we talk about drones, anything you to do about drones, drones, remotely piloted aircraft, unmanned air crystals, whatever you want to call them, emerging into Hawaii's economy, educational framework, and our public life. We talk about things associated with the use, the misuse, uh, technology, engineering, legislation, with uh, local experts as well as people from across the country. Please join us noon on Thursdays and catch the latest on what's taking place in the world of drones that might affect you.
Aloha and welcome back to Talk Story with John Waihe'e. We have as our guest this afternoon, Senator Brickwood Galateria, who is the state senator from Waikiki, Ala Moana, and Kaka'ako. And for those of you who would like to join our conversation, please call us on our hotline, 808-374-2014. So, Senator, yeah. here we are. Yeah. So you got together with uh, Kai, who kicks off this idea, and, and started generating. Well, he, yeah, he wanted to do something. He felt, you know, he felt a movement within himself. Right. Right? Uh, his Hawaiian-ness, if you will. So I said, well, let's do this. I'm going to call up the churches. Because from what I learned from Tommy, the bells rang, Tommy Kaulukukui, Lead Oklahoma Trust, uh, Iaukea dispatched, who was uh, Lead personal secretary. So this is, uh, Iaukea was his, what Curtis Iaukea. Curtis Iaukea, yeah. who was his, her aide de camp. I mean, he was right. the main, personal main secretary. Personal secretary. Colonel Iaukea. So when she passed away at 8.30, he deployed a message to St. Andrews. Okay. And they started ringing the bells. Then and that got it, picked up by the other church. Well, Kwaiha'o was her other, right. uh, her other church. They started ringing the bells. And then from there, we don't know. But what we want to do is we've asked all of the churches in Hawaii via the Interfaith Alliance, and I've, I've talked to all of the bishops. I've talked to the bishops of the Catholics, the Lutherans, the Methodists, even the Buddhists. Real fantastic. We have, we've signed up about 200-plus churches to ring their bells at 8.30 in the morning on November 11th. In recognition of the passing of uh, yeah. the Queen Lilio. And for a moment of reflection of what she may mean to you today, because she's the best in all of us. And certainly, we, all, we need that. And to a greater degree, the nation needs it. Right. And to right. a much greater degree, the Honua, or the Earth, needs it. Hey, actually, time. you don't have to be Hawaiian to know that the values she represented yeah. applies to everybody who lives in this state. That's correct. That's Probably correct. Uh, some of those, that, some, this whole, the whole United States yeah. might be able to take a few lessons from uh, what she stood for. Especially now. Especially <laughs> now. But we're not going to mention yeah, why, no, but especially, especially now. now. So <laughs> what we're going to do that day, we have, it's like a two-pronged Initiative, the Aloha Lili'u Initiative. We've, by the way, we launched the website www.alohalili'u. One word. www.alohalili'u. A l o h a l i l i u. dot org. Is there a Okina in, in? No, I guess we, you don't do that. We, we, didn't, we didn't go Okina on the social media <laughs> on this one. But our communications teams insisted that we start a, a website. We have a, a Facebook page. Aloha Liliu, Facebook, and we're soon to launch a hashtag Aloha Liliu. Now, I have no idea what that means. Me too. But, but it sounds really like you know, you know, yeah. like you, at least you have some people who know what they're doing. So if you go to alohaliliu.org, you'll learn everything about the day, which begins at 8 o'clock, and, uh, you know, the assembly of dignitaries and such. And then the theme being 100 years. So we're asking for a hundred to start the day off 100 poo. Oh, wow. Okay. So our good friends at Kamehameha Schools have committed 100 poo. They're going to get it through the charter schools, their school system. And I was telling Randy Fong, okay, make sure they're tuned to the QC. <laughs> so how you going to okay. so how you do the okay. explain the mechanics? The me first of all, tell the people what you mean. There are some people don't know what, you, what we're talking about. Okay, well, uh, to recap... Very briefly, Aloha Lili'u, the, the commemoration of the 100th anniversary of the passing of Queen Lili'u Okalani. Right. On November 11th. Right. At the state No, capital. but what's a poo? What's a hundred Oh, poo? I'm sorry. Poo is the conch shell. Right. So at that signals the beginning. And so the you're going to have all, all these churches ringing their bells at the moment of her. At 8.30. At 8.30. But at 8 o'clock, we begin with the poo. Oh, at 8 o'clock, you're going to have 100 conch shells that's all across the state uh, of Hawaii? Well, no, all across, across the statue area. Oh, in that wow, area. you're going to bring in 100? Yeah. And That's then, never been done. I, I, yeah, I think so. And then we'll bring in the special kahili with an oli, and then we'll uh, poos go off again. Then the royal guard comes in. Then we'll go from there to the welcome. I'll do the welcome. We'll have a pule, 
then we, we, we've got a special little choir that's going to sing the Queen's Prayer. All four verses. Now, this is designed for maximum effect. Yeah. Yes, and of course. Th that will be followed. So, where are you getting the four uh, choirs from? I mean, what? Uh, Nola Nahulu is is our choir director at Kwaho Church. Right. So, she's going to assemble. She's also the youth opera chorus director. She has access to singers. I, I said, Nola, 100 if you can. She says, I don't know if I can get 100. <laughs> but, okay, so whatever. That'll be followed. So everything's trying to, you're trying to do 100 this 100 and 100, this, 100 that. Uh, yeah. 100 this. And that's why I ask you to, when you speak, a hundred words, <laughs> which maybe, maybe, maybe. Yeah, now that's tough. Uh, that's tough. But I, you know, we, that's the, oh, so, that's so a challenging. Assignment. Governor, Governor, you're, you're going to speak, and then um, Tommy Kaulukukuri, as the chair of the Lilo Oklahoma Trust, will speak. I thought we don't have to share the same hundred. We uh, go. <laughs> you guys negotiate. You folks are good negotiators. <laughs> but that'll be followed by an interesting time because we go, we're going to prepare for the eight thirty moment which okay. will be the ringing of the bell. And we have, uh, we've commissioned that bell in front of the Capitol. Okay. Oh, yeah. The Liberty Bell. The Liberty Bell. There the might bell. be some symbolism in all of this. <laughs> I think there's know? going to be a lot of symbolism because uh, that's going to be uh, the first one that's heard. Oh. And then 100 Pahu, if possible. Pahu being the drum. Yes, okay, the yes, 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 yes. So Vicky Old Takamane is being tasked with trying to get 100 drummers. Okay, a oh. hundred drummers. Oh, oh. What's going to happen at the time of the bell ringing, though? The traditional kanikau is the wailing chant. Right. So we have five right. people from around the island. So the, our our listeners are learning pu, the pu, pahu, pahu the drum, the drum, and yeah. then the, the wailing chant. The wailing chant is called kanikau. 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 If you uh, if you were a person of dignity or uh, standing, a kanikau would be. Uh, chanted uh, as you, uh, you know, you were being honored. Right. That's going to happen when the bells go. Oh. And after that, the pahu will be going off a hundred times. Then after the hundred times, then a hundred hula dancers are going to do what is called a trilogy, which is uh, kaulilua, and if you're a hula dancer, you know, you know these songs, Ako'olawao and Awa'ia. They all stand for unity. And, and this pow. is that every hula dancer learns this trilogy. Yes, if they're deep dances. into it. You if, know, they, it, it if they it, want to be part of the I, hula I think, culture. I think so. And when that's done, I don't know how we're going to uh, be any How do you more close this stuff? I mean, well, that is such a moment. We should be at about the 845 mo moment right then. So we're going to shrink it down completely. And one piano, we're going to be doing Lili Oklani songs. Marlene Sai is going to sing Kaulana Napua. Wow, and Which Marlene is, does that yeah. such a beautiful rendition. Juana Salazar, who is a descendant of Wilcox, right, will sing poor, uh, Paul Robin Paul Wilcox, by the way, was known as the Island, uh, the Iron Duke, yeah, and he was the hothead. He was the yeah. one that was trying to get Lilio to yeah. actually co commit a war. But there is a, a statue of him. That's right, right down here in Fort Street, in the middle of Honolulu. You want to talk about political? He was the first delegate to Congress. After First delegate that. and the head of the Home Rule Party. So he, uh, you're going to have Salazar. You're Salazar, have, yeah, uh, and then and then Aloha Oi will be sung as well. Wow. And then uh, during that time, di dignitaries, uh, chosen dignitaries, will be able to bring lay to the statue. After that, we, we, you know, I it's mean, it's up to the people to continue the respect. And, yes, and celebration. we'll close it. We'll close it by by reversing the order by which we came in, with the poo and then the. Right, right, right. Royal Guard out. You, you know, this is like chicken skin. I mean, really, this is a, uh, and the reason why I, I really uh, want to thank you for coming here on this show and talking about it, because I think the, probably the last time an event like this happened was probably with, when Kuhil passed. Could be. Could be, because I, I don't think we've had this kind of uh, ali'i, ali'i or royal uh well, the, the, the incredible data that we've you know accumulated also includes uh, the the funerals and the uh, of, of the elite, and it's incredible the length of pomp and circumstance that happened. We're just going to try and shrink it down to a moment, but I think equally important, if not even more important, is that we're going to try through social media to amplify that moment by inviting everybody on the other end of that social media. To
to reflect at 8.30, wherever they are in the world. So we're going to live stream it. Oh, you're going to live stream and, and, and they're going to make comments and send in yeah. things. And so we're going to live stream it on Facebook and live stream it on, uh, on the website as well. And, and hopefully our, our um, media channels will be, uh, our video channels will be covering that. I know I can speak for all of us at High Tech Hawaii. I would that, hope so. Uh, they, you know, we're going to do whatever we can to cover it. Yeah, it's, yeah. We, we've, we've, got, we've got the pegs or the public education stations going to be each island's representative, Olelo, Kaleo, right. Ataku. They're all going to be there to shoot it, and we're going to stream it through them into the social media world. So hopefully it'll be a moment that we can kick off. In fact, we're also, we've talked to the, the public schools. We've invited them to have their children do essay contests for Liliu as well. Right. We've talked to the canoes. We've talked to Hokulea. I've talked to Makalui. To do something at those moments. Yeah. I mean, there's no rules here. Yeah, yeah. You know, you make up your own. And so they can join in yeah. however they see That's appropriate. Correct. However they see appropriate. And, wow. and so you, you know, think tech, I mean, this whole, everybody, just make your own rules, reflect on what Lili'u means but you. the key thing is that we all begin at 8 o'clock on November uh, 11th. You can begin right now. Oh, yeah, well, live it. <laughs> yeah, no, seriously. Live Liliu. Li live Liliu. Yeah. You know, I mean, that's what, yeah, why yeah. not? They already got live Aloha. Live Liliu. Live Liliu. You know, just uh, turn the other cheek or and come back and false crack the other side. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, you know, my, my dad used to say that, you know, he used to tell me all the time, he says, the Hawaiian way is to try and work things out. Yeah. But sometimes no can. Well, yeah. <laughs> you know, my dad used to say, bring me the slipper. <laughs> <laughs> this is, is going to hurt me more than it's going to hurt, hurt you. How can that possibly be, Dad? <laughs> You're the one inflicting the pain. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Hey, Bud, quickly, run through the, okay. uh, the day with us. Okay. okay. November 11th. Okay. Okay, which is something like 20 days away. Uh, we're going to be asking you to remember Liliu up and through, uh, even starting today. Just start to think after you've heard what I've, I've got to say. Come down to the state capitol if you want to. Right. Otherwise, it's going to be live streaming. November 11th, 8 o'clock, 8.30, when you hear the bells ring, the bells toll throughout Hawaii Nei, that is to help you reflect on what Liliu means to you. But at 8 o'clock, 100 poo. 100 poo. And then at 8, whatever, 15 or whatever, uh, we have... Uh, well, 8.30, bells. Bells. 8.35, 100, pahu. Pahu. 8.37, 100 dances, 100 hula dances. And then we go home after that, you know, wow. in a nice way. But that's one way, and hopefully this is the beginning of a tradition. We, we have a resolution. I introduced a resolution last year calling, asking the governor to proclaim... Uh, this 2018 year of the Hawaiian. Right. But I think after this deep dive into Lili'u, I, I kind of feel like this is the age of the Hawaiian. Right. It's kind of a deeper thought. Right. It's really, I think, illustrates the greatness of the Hawaiian people uh, in standing toe to toe, well, shoulder well, to shoulder I, I, I with the great civilization. I it's, think it's, it's very important for, I know it's very important for Native Hawaiians, for the Hawaiian community to understand and to appreciate what she stood for, her values and the like. Yeah. But I also believe that for the larger non-Hawaiian community, the same values that she expressed about steadfastness, about justice, and about making, uh, uh, behaving in a way that recognizes uh, our humanity yeah. is, is good for everybody. Yeah, I think one last story, and I know we're almost pow. The, um, when the word went out, the invitations went out to the churches, okay? Not many people know that Lilio Kalani built a church at Schofield Barracks for the soldiers. It's called the Soldiers' Chapel over there. Really? Yeah. So when the invitation went out, the first church that came back was a Soldiers' Chapel. They said, at we're Schofield all at Schofield Barracks. They said, we're all in. Okay, now, that's a queen we can celebrate. Yeah. Everybody, thank you so much for joining us to Talk Story with John Waihe'e, and a special thank you to our guest, Senator Brickwood Galateria, who is not only a great senator, he is setting out a great moment in Hawaii's history. Thank you very much. Yeah, aloha. Aloha. aloha.